Hello, and welcome to this sort of reaction video, sort of just covering this video I um, of this sort of stealth game that was announced recently. I've seen this video before, but I still kind of, this is kind of going to be a reaction video. I'm kind of just going to talk over it. Uh, so let's get started. So... Is this real? How can you define the boundary? Focus. You were sent to save them. Okay, I do want to point out that the voices do sound a bit funny. It might be because it's one guy, or it might be because it's AI. Uh, now, obviously, in like for a smaller team in like a pre-release trailer, I think it's okay, kind of, to use AI, so long as you don't really use it in the game. Still not big fan of it though. Uh, but if it's like just one guy doing it, then I don't. That's not really an issue for me. We don't know where they are. Hmm. We don't know how much time they have the left. The graphics do look if quite nice. To but them, the fate, I look, have to know. They look a bit funny, like. But I still think ultimately they look quite nice. But when compared, I think what well, this seems to be inspiration. The fact Metal Gear Solid Five, I don't think they're quite. They don't look quite as sort of good, but that's just what I think. I'm sure we'll get to see more later on. Which doors lead where? You can't. Wait. Uh... Wait what? Which doors lead where? I have left. If you want me to save them, I have to know. Which doors lead where? You can't. Okay, so you can't save them, I guess. Wow, look at that plasticine sheen. The wall textures are actually really nice. Like, I, I, I genuinely really like the, them. They're pretty high. They're high quality. Um, uh, but if you look at like the main door, it just looks way more artificial than some of this other stuff. Uh, this looks okay, but a little funny and just the character model. Uh, I know it's just like it's just a, it's just a reveal trailer, but. Yeah, it looks a bit sort of fake. It looks just a bit fake. More so than the other stuff. And the animations do look a bit a stiff. Subway. Looks like I'm in a subway. Vo voices do still sound... They This sounds a bit different, but like it still kind of sounds sim kind of a bit AI, but uh, maybe I'm just making this up. I don't know. Uh. Moving on. Roger that. Proceed with caution. Destination is unknown. Alright. Let's see where this leads. I don't like that transition there. Just like the... It's... Just like the sudden change. It just looks a bit sort of ugly. Uh, I wish there was more sort of fade in. Uh, obviously this is pre really Obviously this is just trailer. But... Still something I hope they do change rather than just suddenly pop in, rather than having pop in, because I think that often can ruin the atmosphere of these kind of games, especially considering IGN calls it Metal Gear meets Portal. Uh, I'm not sure it's Portal, but you do you, IGN. I mean, you start shiving people, or would like to go in for the violence. Inside a military base. Uh, Activating the map maker. <laughs> Tell me what you can see. Uh, uh, how does no one see this? Uh, like, d like, come on! Like, everyone can see this. That's that's silly. Like, they they can do better than that. Like, I everyone can see that. Like, that. Like, come on, guys. Like, like, you can see that. It's like, what's that big light? Ah, uh, it's probably nothing. I'm a, I'm a, a thief NPC. Uh. Yeah, definitely nothing. Uh, the oh yeah, the the like the quality of the um of the sort of like clo the clothing animations look look really good. Uh, not sure what's up with this tent though. It looks a bit <laughs> it looks a bit cruddy. <laughs> Uh, the rest of the uh, environment looks really nice, uh, but I still feel like a lot of these models will look. Well, I think my um, they kind of look like they're from an asset pack, which you know, uh, 
I, I don't really want my self game to be made from an asset pack, but that seems to be every Unreal Engine 5 game now. Uh. Seems busy out there. Stealthy approach at why, do you take, why do you, like, knock him out and kill the other guy? Um, oh, I think he's spotted. Uh, I kind of want to see more, like, come on, show me some more stealth gameplay. Like, if, if it's if it's st stealth is recommended, I want to see some more stealth gameplay rather than going immediately into combat. Uh, lovely, uh, Phantom Pain slow-mo, but not as good because you, it, it just helps you to kill some enemies. So I, I guess maybe this game is a bit less of a stealth game and more an action game with, 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 with optional stealth. Uh, that's what it seems so far. I don't know if that would make what the most sense. Uh, th that stagger animation looks really nice. Like, that looks just... Yeah, like, that stagger animation, like, uh, where he... I really, I I guess, uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, Left 4 Dead Star Red Dolls, which kind of are uh, dynamic, kind of quite dynamic. Um, right. Uh, on the, that looks that was let's have a look, just let me yeah it kind of reminds me of the dynamic left the dead star red dolls uh knocks him out <laughs> um well let's have a look at his face his just the entire body looks a bit unreal engine 5 asset store pack kind of just that's what everything here screams uh it either looks like it's from the phantom pain or unreal engine store asset um like, uh, I I guess like all these crates, I I bet you could find in the Unreal Engine asset store. Um, now I'm not saying they necessarily did this, uh, but for I think it's okay to use assets, especially as a small develop, especially if you're a small developer like these ones are. Uh, in fact, this game seems suspiciously ambitious for such a small development team. Um, but if we just kind of like if the entire game is just an asset pack, I mean that is just an asset flip and. Uh, I don't like those very much. Okay. So he clearly calls an enemy. Grenade. Probably don't need to use slow mo there, mate. Uh. Get whatever. Oh, that that battle wasn't as nice. Did you see that? Oh wait, no, no, that's still. Uh, it's still kind of like a dead style. Man. Oh, uh, I wasn't sorry about sorry about that. Uh, uh, looks, uh, Firefox is very weird. Um, let's see, lovely slow mo. Yeah, a lot, a lot of kind of those stealth. A lot of yeah, a lot of games seem to be using stealth nowadays. Um, just a lot more more sort of in the action games. You have a bit of stealth mechanic. Uh, whoa, look at this guy. Is he like a cyborg? No, he's kind of got like a machine gun. Uh, all this ass, all the environment just looks a bit asset pack. Uh, didn't say ass YouTube. Um, oops. But, uh, it just looks a bit, Art as I said, artificial. Uh, well, no, of course it's artificial, it's a video game. But it's not really cutting edge unreal engine 5 graphics that i want to see like if we go back to here like if we look at this environment like here like oh like these walls look ri this texture on the walls is chilly like i really like all the de all the detail here um and then suddenly it looks like he goes onto a different asset he moves into a different asset pack uh, and run through that asset patch. What does, does what does that sign say? Doesn't even say anything. Please do not open the doors when closed. Okay. Um. So back to where we were. Oh, look at the guy. Honestly, that, that's a that's the best shot. Uh, so I wonder if this is gonna be kind of like a sort of, I guess Wolfenstein style thing, where like you, if you you can stealth it like optional stealth, um, which apparently the Phantom Pain was a bit, but to a let but still stealth was probably your best approach most of the time. 
Uh, well, I guess that's all we know about it for today. Um, oh! I, I don't think I... can't escape with running. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, just that, that last bit. That last, that last bit! <laughs> Sorry. You can't, can't, you can't escape with running! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, the laugh is quite funny. Um, anyway, that's the trailer. Um, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Uh, honestly, I'm not here to say games should be, game is going to be bad. I'm just here to say that, what I, how I feel about some of the, the stuff in the game. Uh, and honestly, if the rest of the graphics look like they do in this environment, I, in kind of this detail, just slight difference in detail, uh, I just hope the game isn't 150 gigabytes, uh, mm, but they forgot to, because people seem to be forgetting to optimize their games, but that's a rant, uh, let's have a look, so, sorry, that, that's a too good. You can't escape with running. Can't escape with running. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny to me. Uh, but graphically, it does look quite nice. But honestly, still Unreal Engine store assets. So I hope it's good. I want it to be good. Frankly, if I ha uh, frankly, I want every game to be good. But obviously, every day not every game is good. Um, and this is clearly a smaller developer who's. I think they've been around for quite a while, but they haven't developed that many games. I, I want this game to be good, like, I really hope the game's good, because stealth game, because I think we're, we're kind of not had that many stealth games recently, so, I, I really hope the game's good. <laughs> I, I just stayed a bit repetitive, but, yeah. The graphics look reasonable. Oh, we get some more. Yeah, like, th those look pretty nice, but. Uh, I hope they like swap swap them out and the character animate like these character animations look really good. Seems like, busy hmm. out there. Stealthy approach by. But that that just looks quite robotic. I I really hope they add some more dynamic animations. But it just seems just weird that like such a small development team this this is a lot for what sounds to be a fairly small development team to be taking on. Like I like so I hope the game is good. But, uh, this is, uh, it might be years before we see the game. Uh... Yeah, uh, YouTube's gonna probably demonetize. I mean, the website is just the same. Uh, let's have a look. So, I'll, let's read through this. Um, Real-time door mechanics. Uh, when we want to deal with this UI is seamless you transition between levels with no... Okay. I can accept a bit of pop-in if they have no loading screens, because loading screens always do always bother me. Uh, I think the Phantom Pain did a really good job of having the entire map accessible. Um, even stuff... Even, um, so, I think that's very impressive, because even stuff like even some of the earlier Metal Gear games do have kind of loading screens when you enter new environments, but the Phantom Pain has very few loading screens. Um, massive variety of guns and tactical gadgets. Every decision counts in intense combat. Oh, so like does time sort of slow down kind of a bit randomly? Uh, maybe? I'm not sure. We don't know that much. Uh... Robo sapiens. <laughs> um. All right. Oh well. Uh. It, so tell so I. So I. Yeah. So it's Wolf. Kind of Wolfenstein style stealth. It sounds like. Um. So, but it is meant to be a stealth game, but it does just look a bit like the app. It's more action oriented. Um. 
uh, uh, stuff. Honestly, I haven't seen that many stealth games advertise uh, all the, they're all brutal animations because I mean most stealth games try to get you to avoid that kind of thing. Um, um, and boss fights face epic bosses with unique patterns and mechanics. Adapt to learn and and exploit their weaknesses. Each boss fight is a thrilling challenge that pushes your skills to the limit. With some mm, death stranding looking guy. Uh, let's go to the media section and have a look. Oh, it's just it's just screenshots from the trailer. <laughs> yeah, graphically it looks quite nice at times, and then gra graphically it looks a bit rough sometimes. Uh, I hope the game I hope the game's good, and I uh, but I guess we probably won't be able to we probably won't know that much about it until it releases. Thanks for watching.